Are you wondering if your alternator is in order? Sometimes it's very difficult to say, especially if you do not have an idea of what you should look out for. However, the best method to check is by making use of a voltmeter, and this is why. We are going to show you how to test the alternator with a voltmeter. Before we dive in quickly click on the subscribe button, like and share will be back after the break. 1. Connect your meter leads via battery terminals by looking for 13.8 to 15.3 volt. 2. Please you shouldn't disconnect the negative battery cable just to test an alternator. If there is no battery in the circuit to act as a buffer, it simply means the alternator will produce up to 150 volts, which depends on your engine AMP. How to find alternator amperage For you to know how to find alternator amperage, you need to have an understanding of how AMPs and volts work. AMPs are known to be the current's power, while volts are the capacities of any current. How to test alternator with screwdriver 1. Please insert the vehicle key on the ignition switch without starting the engine. 2. Before accessing the alternator, open the vehicle's hood so you can test the alternator's current. 3. You are to test the magnetism of the alternator, so put the metal screwdriver close to the bolt on the alternator pulley. 4. You can then turn the key of your car to the on position without starting the car. This will activate the voltage regulator. Put the metal side of your screwdriver, which should pull the screwdriver. If this happens, it means the alternator is perfectly working. But if it didn't, it means your alternator is not working perfectly. Testing alternator amp output with multimeter. 1. Examine the AMPs the alternator generates if it works perfectly. Then examine the specification of your vehicle's manual where you will see alternator details. This will inform you about the maximum, minimum amp of your alternator. 2. You will need to get closer to your vehicle's battery so you can examine the amp output via the alternator, but first, ensure you put on your glove. Three, after which, open your vehicle's hood, then start the engine and allow it to be idle for some time. Please make sure there is nothing that consumes energy like car air condition or light because you need to examine the minimum alternator amp output. 4. You can now bring out your multimeter and set it to read the amp. Now insert the metal on the ending side of the black wire which extends the multimeter to the negative battery terminal. Note that this negative battery terminal comes with a black cable which is labeled NEG. Place the other metal on the ending side of the red wire on the positive battery terminal. 6. Put on energy consuming components like your air conditioner, light, and wiper. This will increase the amp because they are components that consume energy. Then your alternator will adjust the output, that is if the alternator is working well. 7. Try to measure the alternator amp output making use of the multimeter as you did before. Note that the reading will be near the maximum amp you wrote down earlier. And if you did, then examine your alternator. But if you didn't turn on many components, then do so and examine the reading again. After which, if you observe little or no change, then contact an expert to examine your alternator. Once done, you can now turn off your car and close the hood. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for more videos. Bye.